Ah, another beautiful morning, eh, Bill? But it doesn't quite look like a beautiful place you've woken up into. Yes, it seems another all-night bender has once again landed you in a flea bag hotel without any idea how you got there. Oh, Bill, it looks like you got caught with your pants not only down, but off. What's worse, you're late for work. You better get dressed, get cleaned up, and get out. But wait, here's something you didn't count on. That's right, Bill. You've got a dead hooker on your hands. Again. Hey, don't take it so hard, fella. You've been in this kind of jam before. And you got out of it then, didn't you? That's because you followed the four basic steps. Let's go over them again, shall we? The first step is to remove any trace of identity. Remember, if she can be identified, so can you. So be resourceful. Fortunately, Bill has come prepared. He knows that experience and foresight goes a long way in these situations. See you in a few hours, Bill. Just remember to thoroughly wash up before returning to work. Now you're ready for the second part of the challenge, transport. Once again, it looks like Bill has thought this through. Most cabbies will turn a blind eye to any questionable transported cargo, as long as the tip is generous and the conversation kept to a minimum. Oh boy, here's something you really didn't count on. Yes, any hooker worth her salt will have a good pimp watching her back. But this may not be so bad, Bill. After all, pimps are businessmen, just like you. With some polite negotiating, you might arrive at terms agreeable to you both. And who knows, you might even find a little help with your dilemma. And now on to the most challenging step, disposal. You'll want to avoid having any part of your hooker discovered. Again, be resourceful. After all, it's a big wide world out there with plenty of good hiding places. City dumps and demolished building sites are usually ideal locales to cover a body. And every contribution you make to your local compost heap gives a little something back to Mother Earth. Don't live near debris? Then be inventive. This beautiful Ming vase holding these eye-pleasing flowers is actually Taki Tron of Cambodia, thanks to the ingenuity of Martin Letke of Akron, Ohio. But the best solution, of course, is our final step, prevention. The best way out of a problem like this, simple. Don't kill your hooker in the first place. Atta boy, Bill. It's okay to play rough, but it's only play. Now, go and enjoy your very live hooker. <laughs>